Damn. That's just not good for your asthma. I did that once and I went really dizzy. I've just done a run and I sound awful. <sighs> Don't smoke, kids. <sighs> Don't smoke. It seems to me that every single film from the 70s or 80s is being remade. But even a very famous, what they call as a genre, black exploitation film, which Black Klansman was riffing on the sort of stylistic oh, right, techniques. Yeah. These are sort of films from the 70s and 80s that starred at the time, you know, black actors and stars of the time, but they were always relegated due to social racism to sort of B-movie status. So mm -hmm. there was a lot of inventive filmmaking, but they were kind of shown not in the mainstream cinemas. But on that note, there were a few films that kind of crossed over and broke through. And I was quite young, but I do remember Shaft being one of them. And uh -huh. there's an incredibly famous soundtrack to it. I think it's Isaac Hayes, is it, who sings it? Shaft It's a really good song. You'd, you'd like it if you haven't yeah. heard it. You're never going to believe it, but Shaft was a film from the 70s or 80s. There was a sequel called Shaft in Africa, and your granddad was in it. Really? Teddy was in Shaft in Africa. Anyway. Oh, my God. All of that sort of preamble is to say that they've remade Shaft. And given that it's a sort of riff on a black exploitation film, who do you think one of the lead actors is in it? Everything he's in is just achingly cool. Samuel L. Jackson. Oh, Samuel L. Jackson. Samuel L. Jackson. So let's hit play. Here we go. Hi, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm looking for... Chef. Mm-hmm. Who's asking? John Chef Jr. Your son. My son? Junior? Yeah. Ah! You know they say that Cat Shaft is a bad mother. Shut your mouth. Ignore him. He thinks he's a black James Bond. <laughs> that dude was real. He think he was me. <laughs> this is the truth. If you go pursue this investigation, I'm gonna have to babysit your ass. Oh, look at here! How long has it been? Hmm, never long enough. Lady Syphilis, Madam Chlamydia, it's lovely to meet you both. That's Junior's mom. She'll look better. <laughs> Please tell me that you did not get our son involved in your bullshit. What is wrong with you? You picked up a bat. You can't beat up a woman. Why not? Because she's a woman. That's like misogynistic. If you want to be misogynistic, I ain't mentioned her gender. Okay. I'm an equal opportunity ass <laughs> whipper. All we needed was our bare knuckle. Damn, Grandpa. Well, you can't be too prepared. <laughs> Let me get mine. Oh, that's so sick. Damn, you back here having a knife fight? Oh, hell no, I shot him. What's up? That looks really good. That looks really good. That looks fun. I, I mean, there were moments where it was a bit creaky, and I think the main, the old guy is the original actor from the the original oh, film. Oh, oh right. So, uh, oh. oh my God, that I do like. <laughs> Did you use the hell nice gun? Samuel L. Jackson does good comedy. He does, yeah. Even he's when so it feels funny. bad, he's still like yeah, the only good. Yeah, yeah, thing. yeah, exactly. He's that always looks, watchable. That looks good. Yeah, and I like. I don't know who the actor is who plays his son. They're playing the theme tune Isaac Hayes's Shaft there. You've got to get that. I've never heard of it before. Who plays a man? Da, 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 da. Oh, I might do it. Shaft. It's so cool. He's doing it. I know. <laughs> Who's a dip chance? Look at this shit today. Shaft. Um, it was when the bullet was like, shit. I know. <laughs> I thought they could have, I thought they could have been a bit more comedy. I thought they could have, that, at that point, I thought it really took off. Yeah. At the th point of the bullet. But it was a bit of a clunky start. Did you think? Do you want to see that? Yeah. Yeah? I yeah, want to see it. Yeah. I, I could see you were chuckling reluctantly. Because even if it wasn't a great film, you could trust, you could rely on Samuel yeah. Jackson. Yeah. It's like one of those films where you can't find anything. You're like, oh, let's watch that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's what's sharp. It's what's uh, sharp. I did like the scene about gender thingy thingy where they didn't want to be misogynistic. Yeah, misogynistic. And then she slashed him in the face. Should he have made a special treatment for her given that she had a bat or should he just shot her normally? Um, shot her normally. If you're going to shoot a man, shoot a woman. 
Whoa, you heard it here no, first. No, I think... You I heard think, it here first. If you're going to shoot a man, shoot a woman. Well, no, I yeah. just think, because you know how, like, in school and everything... Yeah. So, um, the boys are in a fight. Yeah. And then a boy would, like, hit a girl, and then there'd be that little boy on the side that'd be like, you can't hit a woman. Oh, and right. it's like, well, if you're going to hit a guy, then hit me as well. Or just That's don't true. hit either of us. Either... Don't shoot men and don't shoot women, or shoot men and shoot women. Right. It shouldn't be just men. Is that? Do you agree? Yeah. What was that incident? It's like, that, it's like I always say when you see um, films or shows or anything. Yeah. Um, so things like Game of Thrones, for example, yeah. or something. When you see men being killed off, like, yeah. you know, stabbed and everything, and nobody really thinks anything of it. When you see a woman or a child get murdered, everyone's like, oh, how could they? That's right. so cruel. So yeah. I think it should just all be treated the same. Who needs a man when a guy needs a man? Shaft. Sing with me. I don't know. Who needs a man when a man needs a man? Shaft. Shaft.